welcome earth sign I want to say to you earth sign um remember how the readings are gonna go <laughs> this is the love um, psychic reading for the month of March and remember um, that earth signs uh, the readings is uh, per earth signs so first I'm going to do um, uh, Capricorn Taurus and then Virgos okay I always do like Taurus uh, Virgos and Capricorn I'm gonna do Taurus Virgos and Capricorn okay so you see the link below and if you want to extend it of this reading please use the link and pick up uh, um, the extended of this reading okay um, the um, extended of the love readings are out all out and they're individual so um, Taurus and Capricorn this is only a collective because you're earth sign so in order to teach people who they are um, we do collective readings because everything is going to be changing and it's all about the collective so you're going to be knowing um, what collective group you are in okay so let's see what's coming up for you earth sign so we see true love is coming in for you earth sign this is wonderful whatever true love comes in is someone could be from another zodiac sign that really cares about you and this is going to be coming in I so see some of you are dealing with uh, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person or someone in um, like I see they're going to be offering you love um, this could be in corporation institutes the organization I see um, some of you could be um, uh, an, um, a Gemini Libra or someone in, in, in power could be coming in and showing um, up they could be showing you um, love and I see you young people between the ages of 18 and 45 um, this is going to be the energies for you people in love it's kind of strange um, it's kind of strange energy especially lawyers and that sort of a thing I see um, you could be meeting um, people some of you could be meeting um, chocolate brown people in our professional jobs um, I see you young men um, is connected to another person and I see true gem is coming in okay so this is kind of weird because your um, your general energy because first we do the general energy so what I'm seeing is that true love is definitely going to be coming in and remember this year it's not one of these hot years for love for for um, Cap for earth sign people so what I'm, I'm seeing is that really a lot of you men are standing up and you young ladies between the ages of 18 and uh, um, 25 is here but it's all about this this month of love is all about you men we're going to be seeing what is going to be coming out for the women but the men energy and I see true love is coming up so this fell out I see some of you are going to be getting engaged so this is wonderful so I see true love is coming in and some of you are going to be engaged it just flipped out so this is a wonderful alignment of energies so whoever um, you're meeting someone I see um, some of you are going to find a true love and you're going to be asked the ends of marriage so engagement is coming out here for you earth sign I see attraction I see some of you a lot of people in power could be attracted or you lawyers or doctors would be very attractive you're looking very attractive some of you could be getting engaged okay I see a lot of people a lot of you um, earth sign people are very attractive whatever is transpiring I see that men um, um, between the ages um, uh, it is safe for you to love okay so I see some of you men um, between ages of 18 and 50 um, you know they're saying to you it is safe for you to love whatever is transparent is as if you guys are not or do not want to open up to love however this is affecting you men between the ages uh, of 18 and 50 I see it is hard for you guys to open up to love however that is transparent young ladies you need to keep um, keep keep you know and this is it I keep on seeing these young Capricorn people coming up um, and what is transpiring to these people is that these young Capricorn people you are coming up and you're 
all out there there is some deceptiveness with you ladies so whatever is transpiring ladies i see deceptiveness is coming up so people between the ages of 18 and 35 there is some deceptiveness around you either with people you're in relationship with but there is definitely um deceptiveness that is coming in okay so however that is transpiring um you need to be aware of this so um engagement attraction there's a lot of attraction you earth people are looking really attractive um you men need to open up your heart to love okay because you men got hurt and you don't want to open up to love anymore you young ladies uh, there is deceptiveness around you either someone is wearing a mask or being very false for you young ladies between 18 and 35 you gotta be aware um, what is coming up and what is transformed because I see some um, very deceptiveness at play so let's see with engagement yes I see the offer of love is coming in so um, the offer of love is coming in and I see some of you are going to be engaged okay some of you are going to be told that uh, um, they really love and care for you so whatever is transpiring I see um, um, information is going to be coming in people are going to let you know how much you're loved and cared for um definitely i told you guys some of you are going to be meeting um a real um stable um financial person so it could be you or um it could be that you men you um rich um stable men um we're talking about i professional people i see you're going to be very attracted to someone you're looking very attractive and some of you if you're looking to meet someone with money i see that they are coming in and uh, they're going to be offering you love so some of you who were looking for um a rich married man or you know how it goes it's coming in again you men are not open up to love okay you're in the reverse and this was what i was saying that men between the ages of 18 and 50 you're in the reverse you're not opening up to your heart for love and they're saying that it is safe it is set definitely safe for, for you to open up for loves because there you are um and it, it could be men but it could be also women um between the ages of 18 and 50 that it's not really open up for love because um you can see this energy that disperses in the reverse and it's the knight of pentacles and that's your energy because you're an earth sign and they are saying it is safe for you um to love okay open up your heart to give and receive love and the highest energy of all so um a lot of people are having um problems and this is why i say to people go and check out the live reading about what signs connect to what signs okay i see some of you ladies you're having some issues with friends and friendship okay there is some deceptiveness um within friendships so, so you young people between the age of 18 and 25 i see some deceptiveness within um your friendship people around you and in relationships and i see this is coming up especially for the the latest between the ages of 18 and 45 you gotta go check out um the live session that i did on saturday and it tells you which people um you are attracted to because there's definitely um some of you um need to understand that when you're hurt you stay hurt but sometimes you need to open up in order to heal um the the hurtful feelings that you are um and i know when when earth sign people are hurt they just close themselves off but um this old month it's about opening up yourself remember um i see a lot of um i see you guys are more focused on um building strong for the i see a lot of communication i see people wants to communicate with you and especially you young young ladies i see you're communicate and you're open to a lot of people but they're not being honest okay so you gotta be um you gotta take back your energy because you young ladies are giving out your energies okay so you could be flirting around you could be going out with other people and showing up your energies and they're saying contain your energy okay um because the more you share your energy people will see you as you are 
um, just all over the place with everyone so if even later on in life you want to find a good relationship people are going to say yeah but I saw her with so many other people okay so you gotta be aware all right so we're going to start to look at Tauruses and see what is coming up for Tauruses did I shuffle this yes Tauruses I see you're going to be having some short-term relationship and um, some of you could be um, traveling um, and having some short-term relationship Tauruses so I see short-term relationships like you're going on um, weekend away um, you know the romantic weekends away um, the short trips going you know with different people so um, this is coming up okay so um, whatever is transpiring I see short term um, that some of you could be going away um, for a weekend or just you know going away for some short trips so I see that um, men who have their extra um, women I see that this is the month you're going to be going on a long weekend away with them because you couldn't go last month you have to spend it with your wife okay so I see some of you could be having um, relationship overseas but this is not going to be long lasting um, or relationship with someone else in another um, area but it's not going to be lasting I see um, the energy of uh, some of you are connecting with a Capricorn some of you are in love with a Capricorn and this person lives abroad um, uh, yes the Capricorn um, or and this person lives abroad I see some of you are going to be connecting with um, a Libran okay I see some of you are connecting with a Libran but some of you are going to be meeting a Libran or a Capricorn overseas and you're connecting with this person so um definitely um this is going to be like short term um however that is playing out now i see a gemini is coming in and a cancer so whether you're visiting these people or you're having a relationship with these people i see th these are going to be short-term relationships so it could be um it's gonna be with a Capricorn, um, um, uh, a Libran, a Virgo, and a Cancer. Okay, so however that is coming up, then we see fun times. You Tauruses are really going to be having some fun times, and some of you could be getting married, or some of you are having fun times with your wife. I see the attraction is strong on. I see that some of you might be getting married to a very rich man or a woman um, I see this is just going to be unexpectedly it's like you do it you, you you go to Vegas and you got get married in Vegas it's just out of the blues you're attracted to this person you went away on a weekend you go to Vegas or you go somewhere else on a ch the islands and you're just gonna get married just out of the blues <laughs> okay so um and I see the people who are doing this as um, people who have money. It's just, just so funny. Um, it's just as if, uh, and these are I professional people. It's like um, you met someone else. There's a strong attraction. You went away or you invited this person out. You went away and all of a sudden this person asks you to marry them. And, you know, you know this could be someone who is older than you are. Or however it is working out this is the situation involves marriage so I see that some of you could be meeting a rich um, man but this is uh, this person is already married but you're having a lot of fun time with this person also that is coming up okay so um, let's see who this person is so I see this could be a Pisces for some of you and some of you is a cancer and it's going to be a yes. All right. I see a lot of uh, attraction that is going on. Um, a Leo and um, uh, I see some of you um, was attracted to a Leo and a Libran, but it's no longer the attraction isn't there. The, the, the feelings of attraction isn't there. Okay. So if you are married to a Leo or a Libran, I'm seeing you no longer 
is attracted to this person and I see you are um, moving towards a Pisces of a Cancer, okay? So I see people who are married, the attraction, if you were married to a Leo or a Libran, I see the attraction is no longer there and you're more attracted to a, a Pisces or a Cancer, okay? So the attraction is no longer there um, for this Leo and this, um, this Libran. I see you're moving towards the water sign people. So that is good. Alrighty, so let's see what is happening um, um, to spiritual growth. Okay, so I see a lot of you are going through spiritual growth at this time. And this is really a year for spiritual growth because most people, most Capricorns are just focusing on making money in this year. It's like this year is a year for you to build and make money. So you are not focusing on um, money. What you're focusing is on building you're not focused on love. You're more focused on um, money. So what you're doing is that some of you um, are not open up to relationship because you're going through a spiritual growth in your life and you're still holding on and looking back at a, a past relationship and trying to figure out what have I done wrong or how could I have changed a past relationship? And this is why you're not open to love because some of your heart broken because of some past relationship. And what is transpiring is that you're really basically saying now and you're looking at things and you're thinking, hey, I have no time for this. Guess what? I'm, this is how I'm going to be doing, um, my, looking at my life. But you need to release the ex because if you don't release the ex, you can't heal this heartbreak that you're going through. Obviously, a lot of you are going through spiritual growth where you're learning to love yourself and learning to understand why things happen in your life. Why? Are you having these relationship issues? That is what you're going through at this moment. So spiritual growth is one of the effects why some of you are not opening up your hearts to love in this month. Um, and you need to learn to release the S because whatever is to inspire, I see some of you are holding on on the X. And if you are in a relationship with a Sagittarius and are a Cancer, I see you have some emotional. You need to free yourself emotionally from these people, okay? Some of you, I see you had a relationship with a, um, an Aquarian and a Libra, okay? And you need to release yourself from these people because I see... Um, these are the people. So if you were in a relationship with a Sagittarius and Cancer and um, an Aquarius and um, a Libran, um, these are the people that you're still holding on that has hurt you so badly that you are so hurt that you need to release these people because you're still holding on, on their energy and what they have done to you. So in order to learn to love again, you got to release yourself from these people. You definitely have to release yourself from these people. I see spiritual growth is coming in a relationship. If you're in a relationship with a Sagittarian, I see spiritual growth is going to be coming in. So you and this person, the Sagittarian is really going to be either in a relationship, but um, there could be spiritual growth uh, um, for also you and a cancer. Okay. So this is where you've reached the peak of your relationship where you're learning to love this person, understanding who is this person. And it's as if you can open up your heart to this person. So the access to release is the Aquarians and, um, the Librans. Okay. The Aquarians and their Librans need to be released. Okay. They have moved on with their life. And some of you are still holding on back on a Sagittarius where you need to release the Sagittarius because the Sagittarius is as move on. They do not want, you know, this relationship or whatever you had with the Sagittarian. They don't want it anymore and they need to, to release you and this relationship. So Taurus is be aware of what is transpiring. So I see money is coming in. Um, and romantic feelings okay so um <laughs> you feel as if i hate when money and romantic feelings comes in because this is you know you guys but anyway some of you men 
uh, who have money or women who have money could be seeing a younger person and this person have romantic feelings for you but it's not really love this person only wants money okay uh, and it could be you young lady that is getting in relationship with older men you're being very deceptive because you're not in love with these people you're pretending as if you have romantic feelings for these people but the only thing you want is money so whatever is coming up money is going to be a central in love um, for some of you Tauruses of course especially people who have money I see you're going to be connecting with an Aries um, a Aries and a cancer for some of you this Aries um, you got to be careful because the Aries and the deliverance is all about money they only want money okay cancer and the Virgo that's cool go for it okay but the um, Aries and the Librans is only connecting with you because they want money. Okay, so however that is playing out, however that is transpiring, that is the reason why. Alrighty, Taurus says, um, let me know how this went. We are going to be moving on and looking at the Virgos. So Virgos, what's coming up for the Virgos? I see the brunette female let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold so i see some of you ladies are having some control issues okay so ladies between the ages of 25 and 50 you're having some control issues you need to let go of these control issues whatever the situation is and whatever it is don't control anyone if it was meant to be it was meant to be if it was meant never meant to be virgos trust me there's many more fishes out there in the sea so let go of the control issues i am going to tell you who the control issues are coming up with um it could be someone else controlling you but it could be you in control now what I'm seeing is that some of you are dealing with an Aquarius and a Cancer, okay? Um, an Aquarius and a Cancer. However, this Aquarius and Cancer is coming up. I see you're having, a, a, um, you're dealing with uh, um, them um, controlling you, okay? And then I see um, the Capricorns and the Cancers, okay? So. However, this is coming up. I see you're dealing with the Aquarians, um, Capricorns, and the Cancer in controlling issues. Now, however, this is transpiring. Whether you are the controller or they are controlling you, trust me, if they are controlling you, get out of this control relationship or let the person say, you know, I love you, but I don't want to be controlled like that. And especially Capricorns do not like to be controlled. So, however, this is playing out. I see some of you ladies are really having some control issues if you're in relationship um, with Aquarian Cancers and Capricorns. So, all right, let's look at this. The twin flames are here. Work on your partnership. Give your relationship a, a chance because it's a twin flame relationship. So, some of you are in a twin flame relationships and you want to break off from this person because it's hard i'm not questioning it and i'm not saying anything it's very hard twin flame relationships are very hard there is no question about it um and it is it's one of the most hardest relationship but they're saying give your relationship a chance and that is good so because it's a twin flame relationship and sometimes we are not aware that we are in um twin flame relationship but this relationship it's hard because you are twin flame so some of you virgos are in a relationship with a cancer or a scorpion um i see you in a relationship with an aries i see this is not a healthy relationship so if you virgos are in a relationship with an aries it's not a twin flame this person creator an illusion that they are your twin flame but they're not your twin flame um the twin flame for you virgos is as the scorpio or the cancers okay that's where your twin flame lies so if you are in a relationship with a scorpio or a a, a um, cancer it is a um it is a twin flame relationship but if a, you are in a relationship with an aries it's not um, a twin flame relationship so you gotta be um, very um, you gotta be very supporting of this okay um, 
the, the it, it is an Aries you gotta let it go let go of this relationship so if um you or the Aries think that you are a twin flame it's 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 not true it's prickle pickle prickle bar meaning it's, it's it's no good um match therefore okay so it's, it's it's not really a good relationship all right so we're looking at the working women however it's coming up working women these are women 35 years to 50 and older i see pay attention to the red flags the sign is caution you so women profession i professional women pay attention to the red flags because it's caution in you whatever is transpiring if you're in a relationship or in a marriage there is some um situation that you need to pay attention to the red sign there's a caution for you women 35 and older there is a cautionary um precaution in a relationship we're going to be looking with which uh, which of these people so what is transpiring is that you women that is in a relationship with a gemini and a cancer you got to be aware of this relationship a gemini and a cancer there is some red flags so um, some of you women um who are in a relationship with um a libran a cancer and a scorpion libran cancer and scorpion there is some red red flags especially for the librans okay scorpions and Mm, and cancers is okay but there are some red flags in your relationship so ladies if you are in a relationship with a libran a cancer a scorpion and a libran you gotta be aware of these people and what is transpiring around you because there is red flags red flags mean that something is off with a relationship something is off with a relationship i see some of you are going to be traveling um um, some of you are going to be traveling. You're going to be freeing yourself. You're going to be taking off time from you and your relationship. So I see travel is coming up here. Some of you are going to be taking off time from you and your relationship. So you Virgos, um, however, this is transpired. I see some of you Virgos are going to be um, traveling, maybe traveling for business and getting free time off from your wife, your family, your relationship. So some of you could be traveling for work. I see that you're going to be freeing up yourself. Some of you could be um, moving and leaving a relationship behind. And you're moving, leaving a relationship behind. Um, so you could be in a relationship with a Pisces, uh, a Taurus, or a Virgo. I see you could be ending that relationship, okay? I see if you are also in a relationship with a Leo, and a cancer you could be freeing yourself from this relationship because you could be traveling overseas or you could be just moving away from this person or ending this relationship with these people for whatever the reason is i see um some of you could be trying to flying to connect with a pisces and a taurus some of you could be flying to connect with a pisces and a taurus or a gemini but i see you're freeing yourself from a leo and 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 a cancer however that is coming up and is transpiring is the decision that you're going to be making over these relationship these deceptive relationship um for some of you okay because um i see um that is in deceptiveness that is coming up okay so i see some of you um could be flying um you know going by plane to um or going flying for work but you're going to be meeting a Pisces and a Taurus and a Gemini I see some of you are going to be freeing yourself from a Leo and a, and a Cancer whoever this Leo and this Cancer is you're going to be freeing yourself okay all right Virgos wow what a man to go and check out the extended reading it's a dollar 99 to connect and um, to be a member of my channel um, each month, a dollar ninety nine, you get extended monthly reading and extended um, love reading. Okay, so go um, connect to my channel and check this out. All right, so we're going to the Capricorns. Have a nice month, Virgos. 
Capricorns, let's see what's coming up for the Capricorns for love in the month of March. I don't know, control issues uh, seems to be um, coming in for you earth sign people. It's the second time control comes up. Let go of control issues. I see control. It will passion. <laughs> okay, Capis. So I see some of you are really passionate with someone. But either you or them are being controlling. So we're going to be looking in that. Now, um, I, I do understand you Capricorns, especially when you are passionate about someone. Yeah. You don't want this person to play you because it's good. All right. So I see you're dealing with a Pisces. Um, a Pisces, some of you, and some of you is with a Taurus. But the Taurus could be controlling you. All right. I see um you're dealing with a Virgo, um, a, a, a Gemini. So what is happening is that some of you um, the control is with a Pisces and a Taurus, okay? But I see passion. Passion is coming up with um, you um, you and the Virgos and the Cancers. A lot of passion um, between you, the Virgos, and the Cancer. I see um, that some of you are just so passionate with the Virgos and the Cancers, Okay. But the control issues with a Pisces and a Taurus. So whatever is transpiring, um, whoever is in a relationship with a Pisces and a Taurus, there's control issues. But there is passion with the Virgo and the Cancer. So that's good, Capis. All right. So I see Elin family issues. Um, true gem. Um, so this is good because what is transpiring is that some of you are going to be meeting really someone that is going to become so significant uh, um, to you, so caring and so significant to you. And I see some of you are going to be healing family issues. So if you were hurt by family members in um, when you were growing up and that sort of a thing, um, where they could have um, misused their powers over you sexually, um, I see that there is an healing is coming up. There is going to be a healing coming up, okay? So, to Jim, I see um, you're going to be meeting, um, uh, some of you are going to be meeting Aaliyah. No, don't do it. Um, the Taurus, yes, okay? Some of you are going to be thinking, oh my God, this Leah is such a wonderful person. No, don't do it. Don't do it, Capricorns, I'm telling you. Um, you're setting yourself up for um, a wicked um, start, okay? um Taurus um Leo's is something um it's not a relationship match okay so stop getting in this situation and setting up yourself they can come up very nice but no it's not okay so healing family issues I see you're going to be healing family issues so if you had situation to deal with Sagittarius um if you were married to a Sagittarius if you were married to a, um, um, a Libran or you were married to um, a Pisces, I see you're going to be healing. Either they are healing their family issues or you. So if you're in a relationship with a um, Sagittarius, a Libran or a Pisces, um, you or them are going to be healing their relationship. And as they heal, whatever the family issue is that they have been going through, because men always bring their mama's issue in and their father's issue in relationship. Okay. And if they heal their um, issues with their family, I see your relationship is going to be getting better with this person. So it's as if you're married to this person, long-term relationship with this person. This could be also um, that you're seeing a married person and they are healing some um, issues um, through seeing you. Okay. So it's like they could have married to the wrong person and then they're realizing that, oh my God, I was really married to the wrong person. However, this is happening. Yes. So they are healing the issues. Okay. However, it is coming up. They're healing their issues with having an outside marriage affair because that's how they're basically going to be meeting the person of their dreams. So that is one of the situation that is, um, coming up and transpiring um, for you guys. Okay. 
um, to go check out the extended reading and because there's more about this Elin family issues. Then I see family, I see trust. Um, this situation is calling for you to have faith. So whatever is transpiring with a family, it's about calling. It's about having faith. Okay, so um, don't give up on your marriage. Don't give up on your relationship. If you're in a relationship and you're not married and you have a family, don't give up. You got to trust that if even your partner go out there and cheat, um, you know, people like to keep their families together. Okay, and it is like the worst thing. Um, that you have to pick up the kids and like, you're not at home. So, um, you know, however this is working out for you guys, this is a family and this is a strong family in order to release, re release and heal whatever this family situation is, is a strong situation where you're going to be, um, having some healing coming in where people who are married, they're going to be staying together with your family. So, whatever is transpiring i'm seeing some of you dealing um uh, some of you who are in um a relationship with a cancer um this cancer might be in a relationship with a leo or married to a leo and they are staying with the leo so you could be seeing this person um it could be a leo who is seeing a cancer but they're keeping their families together however that is transpiring i see them keeping their family together okay so um, when they say trust the situation, trust the situation with a scorpion and a cancer, whatever is transpiring, you got to trust the situation that is going on between you and a, um, a scorpion and a cancer, okay? Trust the relationship, just trust the situation. The situation called for trust, just trust. Um, if you are in a relationship with a scorpion or a cancer, just trust whatever is going on trust whatever is playing out okay so i see this energy of whoever that is in a relationship with a leo or a cancer um and they you are the side chick or you are the side person they're going to hold they're going to keep their family so um don't bring up the hopes that they're going to be leaving their family for you it's not going to happen okay cancer and leos don't trust them in that shit that they are not going to leave their can their family for you so uh let it go i see a lot of communication i see some of you are communicating with someone from a past life that is coming back in your life you have known this person um and you're communicating with this person so i see a lot of, of communication that is coming up so a lot of communication is coming between you and a pisces and a Libran, so you a Pisces. So if you're in a relationship with a Pisces and a Libran, I see a lot of communication is going back and forth. So this is really good. Um, this is positive, and this is going to affect most of the young people now. Past life relationships, I see a lot of you are going to be reconnecting with a Capricorn from a past life, a, a Virgo from a past life and a cancer from a past life so this is going to be good so however this is happening and transpiring you're definitely going to be reconnecting with people from past life um and it's going to be um you're going to be um connecting with these people and getting in relationship um because i see a lot of your uh, texting um texting and connecting with um, uh, um people and it's going to be um, whoever these people from past life is, they're going to be Capricorns, they're going to be um, Taurus, and they're going to be the Cancer. So it's as if these people you have had soul, um, um, yeah, um, soul connection with in a past life, and they're returning in your life now. So you could be um, connecting with these people in this month. So um wonderful beautiful um capricorns um yeah it's yeah this this year for love is not good for you capricorn so there is a lot of hops and down but for whoever is in a relationship with a married man or someone who is married who is a leo a leo that is married to a cancer they're staying in their family they're not going to break up their family whoever this leo is that is married to a cancer and some of you are seeing a leo that is married to a cancer or a cancer that is married to a leo they are staying in their family they're not breaking up their family i see um whatever the trust issue is you need to trust a situation with a scorpion and a cancer you need to trust the situation so if you're in a relationship with a scorpion 
or if you're in a relationship with a cancer trust the situation because i see that some of you are not open to love but you need to trust this um person in order to learn to open up to love to whatever is transpiring so wow ladies and gentlemen um it's gonna be a wonderful month with love um it's not so bad it's um really good um young people just be careful of your friends i see deceptiveness with your friends like your girlfriends could be jealous of you or deceiving you um in however way but it's um it's gonna be good in order to see the extended of this reading you can just join the channel it's just a dollar 99 per month you get extended of these individual readings so for the individual sign um and you get also the extended monthly reading it's just a dollar 99 so um enjoy and i'm saying namaste until next time